In today's video, we are gonna make Thanksgiving a little bit easier with these pork stuffed mushroom caps. I swear they're fire, let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I'm your host Farnham and today, don't worry, I'm gonna make Thanksgiving a little bit easy for all of you who have to bring something to dinner. Seriously, I know it can be a big stress. We got a few options. We got our mac and cheese. We got the illest mashed potatoes. And today I'm gonna be giving you a family recipe of mine. It is pork stuffed mushroom caps, incredibly flavorful and super easy to make. Before we get into that though, make sure you scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel more than you even know. Seriously, I appreciate every single person that hits that subscribe button. And drop a comment below and let me know what you're thankful for this holiday season. So back to the sides, pork stuffed mushroom caps, these things are incredibly flavorful. They're creamy, they're crunchy, they're just, they're perfect and they're super easy. So even if you're a novice in the kitchen, this one's for you, B-roll, let's go. All right, get ready to sauce up at the potluck with these shrooms. The ingredients you'll need are plain panko breadcrumbs, whole mushrooms, ground pork. My family uses the Jones one, but if you don't have it at your store, just grab like a mild Italian ground pork. A block of Philadelphia cream cheese, fresh chives, a shallot, fresh garlic, red chili flake, smoked paprika, and a lemon. Thanks, Jamar. And half a stick of butter. Forgot about that. All right, we're gonna get into the prep work. The first thing you're gonna need is a baking sheet with some aluminum foil. All right, so normally the pork will fill up almost a whole container, so I'm gonna do like 90% of these mushrooms, and we're gonna start by grabbing the mushrooms and pulling out the stem, leaving a hollow cap. All right, so basically here's all I have left in the tray. Uh, obviously, this is a tiny little <laughs> We're not gonna be able to fit much in there, so I don't even really bother with them, but we do have a bunch of decent sized caps here and we gotta wash them off because they're covered in dirt because guess what? Mushrooms grow out of the ground. So we're gonna wash them real quick. All you're gonna do is get some running water. Go ahead and put the cap underneath, give it a little wash. All right, once you've got all your mushrooms washed, we're just gonna go ahead and take another paper towel right on top. We're just gonna push down so we can dry those out as much as possible. Flip all your caps over and repeat. All right, so the thing about mushrooms is they're round, right? So they kind of wobble around. So when we put all of our stuffing inside here, it might wobble around. So to eliminate that, we're just gonna shave off a thin layer on the bottom so they sit squarely. All right, so at this point, our mushrooms are done. We're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees and put this on the counter next to our stove. All right, next we're gonna prep out our fresh vegetables and we are gonna start with the shallot. Cut the head off, then we're gonna do one thin slice, pull the outer layer off, then we're gonna do some vertical cuts and then some opposing cuts and then we're gonna go ahead and hit that with a cross chop, a nice fine cut into a bowl. All right, next we're gonna do our garlic. Cut the butt off, give it a smash, peel that off, then we're just gonna hit this with a fine chop, scoop it up into a bowl. All right, so we're gonna start with four or five chives and then we're just gonna pinch them, roll them up, and then we're gonna hit fine slices through it, scoop them up into the bowl. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is just zest a little bit of lemon with a microplane into our chive bowl. All right, next, breadcrumb mixture. So you're just gonna take about a quarter cup of panko crumbs to your bowl. Next, we add in a big pinch of salt and then we're gonna add in about 20 cranks of black cracked pepper. Lastly, we're gonna add in about half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and now we whisk. At this point, all your prep work is done. Let's head over to the stove, we'll cook this thing up, let's go. All right, so here we are over at the stove, and this is what your setup is gonna look like. Over here, I've got all my fresh ingredients, my ground pork, my spices, my cream cheese. Next to that, I've got a deep saute pan and a regular saute pan, and next to that, I've got my breadcrumbs, my butter, and my mushrooms. All right, so right now, we're gonna start off with our ground pork. We're gonna throw it into a nice hot pan. Let's go. What you're gonna wanna hear is that Just like that. And then immediately, we're just gonna take our chopper, which you can find a link in the description for this. It's amazing. And we're just gonna go ahead and beat the meat. Hey, yo. Oh. All right, we're just gonna let this first side brown, and then we're gonna flip it all over. All right, when you start to notice that the edges are getting nice and brown and that pink's going away, we're gonna give it a flip. Give that a flip. Ah, perfect, just like that. All right, so it's nice and browned on both sides. We're just gonna go in and chop. All right, so at this point, 
The pork is done, but we do have a lot of grease in here. We need to strain this. Take your spoon, just kind of push that down. Just try to get some of that grease out of there. Exactly. All right, so I've got this on a medium heat. I've got my meat over here just draining, continue to drain. I've got some avocado oil. Boom, a little shot of avocado oil in the bowl. All right, now we're gonna add in our shallots. Let's go ahead and give them a little mix. And we also have some of the juices from that pork in here still, so it's gonna infuse into the shallot. All right, after about a minute and a half on that medium heat, we're gonna add in another little drizzle of avocado oil. We're gonna get some red chili flakes in there, let those chilies cook and let that flavor come out. Then right after that, we're gonna add in our garlic. Just make sure all that garlic is covered in that oil so it's cooking at the same pace. All right, once that garlic gets flagrant, flagrant, flagrant. KCP, oh, look out. We're gonna add back in our meat, give everything a nice mix, that way we're not burning anything. And lastly, I've got one block of cream cheese cut up into eight slices. And we're just gonna go ahead and smash that down and just keep mixing until it's fully melted and incorporated. All right, so at this point, it's ready. I'm gonna show you how to put the mushrooms together right now, and then they're going into the oven 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Listen, all the mushrooms are full. We got some left over, so we gotta do a little taste test real quick. Lewis, you gotta try spoon, bro. He don't. He does not know what to expect. <laughs> Hurry up, yo. That we're putting it in the oven. That Fifteen shirt. minutes, four hundred. Let's go. All right, so mushrooms are in the oven. Now we're gonna do our toasted breadcrumbs. I'm gonna add some nice crunch to that. First thing, butter in a pan on medium heat. All right, so we've got about a quarter of a stick of butter melted. Now we're gonna add in our panko crumbs. And then if we need to add more butter, we can do that slowly, but it looks like we might be okay here. Just get a good mix on everything. Make sure we get all that butter soaked up. And then we're just gonna spread the breadcrumbs out evenly so we can allow them to slowly toast and get nice and crispy. After about a minute, let's just keep them moving. We don't want them to burn. If there's too much butter, you can just pull it to the side of the pan. Just kind of let that run the other way. All right, so it's been about two and a half minutes. These are starting to get nice and dark brown, beautifully toasted. I did put a little too much butter in. As you can see, it's a little buttery. So all we do to fix that is we're gonna bring it over here and we're just gonna scoop it onto a paper towel and then we're just going to spread it out. That way we can soak up any of that excess butter. All right, so at this point, this is what we've got. This beautifully crispy, listen. Mm, nice and buttery, perfect. We got our mushrooms in the oven. They're about to be done. It's time to plate this up. Here goes the B-roll, let's go. Here we go, it is time for the taste test. These things smell incredible. I can't wait to try them. Before we get into that, welcoming back to the show, my boy Lou. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Are you ready? I've been ready. One, two, three. Whoa! I need more. There's literally a perfect combination of everything. Mm. The creaminess of the cheese, the mushroom in the bottom, those breadcrumbs, they literally top it off. Whoa! You got that? What oh, you, you got did that? there, my boy? They're crispy, buttery, a little bit of brightness from that lemon zest, right? Like just enough. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Because these things are so savory with that pork, it's so damn good. Is this something that you could make for Thanksgiving? Oh, 100%. And you can make it for Thanksgiving. They'll be grateful for you because I'm grateful. I'm mad grateful. I really hope you got more of these joints because I don't even need turkey. Skip the turkey. Just do this. Only this. They'll be happy. I love it. I, I, I was gonna eat that one. So let's say you're not a fan of mushrooms. If you just make this on the side, that creamy pork dip, use some Tostitos chips, get in there, get some nice crunch. Scoop it up with a bell pepper, whatever you need. This is fire. Jamar, you wanna try one? No, you gotta eat the mushroom, bro. Just do it full scent. I promise you won't eat, you won't taste the mushroom, bro. 
Man hates mushrooms. Can you taste it? Mm, no, I just can't hate it. The texture? Mm hmm <laughs> You don't like the texture? <laughs> you don't like way, mushrooms? Without the mushrooms, that is gas. On a star scale, what y'all giving this? Five. Five Why is that even a debate? For a Thanksgiving side? Absolutely, for a Thanksgiving main dish. Whoa! I'll take it all. He ain't I'm even so got a side, it's a main. I gotta give it a 4.5 because I don't eat mushrooms, but the dip itself is fire. Gives you some, to some tostitos, and you and it's a five. There we go. It's a five out of it. Folks, that is a five star Thanksgiving side dish. I promise it is packed with flavor. I said mild Italian pork, but do the breakfast sausage. Seriously, it makes a difference. And there you have it, guys. Seriously, all 15 of those caps gone in just a couple minutes. This is the most underrated, easy side dish you are going to make for Thanksgiving this year. I promise you, incredibly easy, incredibly flavorful, and something that you're probably gonna do every holiday when family comes over. Hey, make this for Thanksgiving. If you're still watching, make sure you scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because I'm thankful for my subscribers. That's real rap, no lie. I appreciate y'all more than you even know. Like I said, comment below. Let me know what you're thankful for this Thanksgiving. If you make this, tag me on Instagram, at Farnham Grind Time, at More Seasoning. My name is Farnham. This is More Seasoning. We are out. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Love you. We out. All right, so here goes the prep. First thing you're gonna need is a baking sheet with some aluminum foil. Son of a bitch. Mother fucker, you beat me to it. <laughs> Just show the behind the scenes. This is how good this is. Do you see this? I'm not playing, it's this good. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Is this than... vegan? No, there's pork in it. And cream cheese, what the? Welcome back to another episode of QVC. Right here we've got my magnetic knife block sponsored by Material. If you guys like this stuff, make sure you go down to the link in the description. Buy this thing, it's a great Christmas present. The knives present. sharp though. The knives are looking sharp. Bro, I'm telling you, this right here alone is gas. You look like you want some. How does it taste? That good as fuck. That whatever pork you use is fire. <laughs> He's pulling out the pork wrapper from the garbage can right now. That's how good this is. Look at me. Who is the goat? Who's the goat? Who's the goat?